Hi, hi everyone. Welcome to Gunda Home, a place where we talk about tricks and tips of your home with a focus on African interiors, which is why today we are going to react to Naomi's home tour, which is in Kenya, Malindi, Africa. And uh, yeah, so without wasting your time, let's dive in. Hi, it's Naomi Campbell and welcome to my home. Follow me. I love it already. I love it. I love it that she employed the African traditional elements of design into her home because you can see the structure, the saturated form of the African traditional design in architecture. And then you can see everything is under the Makuti roof, which is really amazing, which is the traditional way of uh, like design before. <laughs> So we are in Malindi, Kenya. I came to Malindi in 1994 for the very first time and then fell in love with Malindi in 1999. Everything is under a Makuti roof, so everything is open. So we will call this area the living room. And so what we do here is mostly we gather here before dinner and we just talk and we also gather here after dinner. Most of the furniture is workmanship that's been done here in Kenya. I love her living space more so that she used local artisans, which is amazing. I do appreciate this about her space. Wood, it's something that is used mostly in African interiors. So if you check her coffee table, it's made of food and um, mostly in African interiors. Wood is used mostly with all that a luxury piece. Also done here in Kenya. This is a chandelier that we got in 2000. It has that Moroccan Egyptian vibe. And we have to give props to the two ladies, which is Carol Beckwith and Angela Fisher, who has been championing Africa and Kenya for so long. So these two ladies for me are my heroes of the whole region because they've just done and always loved and just shown the beauty of Kenya. I love that she has tags on every piece where she got it. The people that inspire her, that's admirable. I love the way she's mishmashing all the styles from different places. Africa is really, I mean, it's a continent with 54 countries. Different groups of people have their own style of design. So you can see the chandeliers there from Morocco, which is amazing. Some people don't know Morocco actually is in Africa. I guess, well, that's okay. Always loved and just shown the beauty beauty of Kenya. This is one of four pools. This is the coldest pool in the house. It's because it can get very hot here. So this is the cold pool. We put dinner tables here, depending on how many people. We can have three or four different tables, but at least we use one big oval table here. And at night time, it's all set up with lanterns. It's all candlelight. It's very sweet. Oh, her space looks so romantic. Look at the candles. Look at the setup, the lighting. You guys, lighting can either make a space a break a space. Here is that you're really living outside. You know, even if you're covered, it's still open. You know what I mean? You still get the natural air and the breeze and just part of the whole landscape green and i feel like this is what people want right now is just to be outside all the time and beautiful climate of course this used to be one of my rooms do you want to see i love this room it's got a great energy oh the ceilings it's all got wooden beams that's what we wanted because it's just i think wood is so grounding i love the wood that goes around I just love this room. It's just chilled. We have air conditioning. I don't personally sleep in air conditioning. I don't like it. It gives wrinkles, I believe. So we have these nets. And I love this old-fashioned net. I love it. I always love when I go to hotels and they have it. I mean, of course we have mosquitoes here. We want you to feel where you are. I wouldn't want to have a place that's like takes away from the feeling. We have the best of both because we're on the beach. We have it a little more modern, but here it is authentic Kenyan African art artifacts. The thing about African interiors is African interiors. If you watched my first video I put on this channel about a home tour, you do remember the um, ceiling, how the beams were laid. I really appreciate the fact that she really did her research when she was really building this space. And uh, yeah, I'm loving it. So I'm going to take you upstairs. 
So upstairs is like just a chill area. So you can have a lot of people staying with you and you just never feel like it is because everyone just does their own thing and has their own little corners that they like. I used to love to come up here to read. So this is our gaming area. We used to play cards up here a lot too. Again, we have a lot of this African textiles and artifacts, which I love all this stuff, love. Here I love to come. Sometimes I would do yoga here because I just like overlooking property. It's quite sunny here. Shall we go down? This is breakfast area. Buffet comes here and everyone just eats. This area has always been a buffet area. Once again, we're under a Makuti roof. This table is also done here. It's one piece. This is a table when we do like buffet lunch, everything's laid out on this table and everyone just comes and eats. This is our local artist, Armando Tanzini, who I would... Okay, before I talk about even the art, thank you, Naomi, for shouting out this other person that did the art. I love the entry art, the map of Africa. It's a statement piece. This is her focal point, where she creates the focal point to take someone's attention once in there in this space. It's big enough to really captivate someone's attention. I think that's beautiful. Armando Tanzini, who I would love for you to me but what I love about Armando is he also has a school where he teaches the local artists and mentors them and I love that I don't know people have such like the wrong perception of Africa it's a beautiful place this is definitely my go-to place of like chilling relaxing like completely shutting down this is the place where I shut down Kenya is just like a natural gem it has the safari, it has the bush, it has the coast, it has the dunes. It has all the elements. And people don't realize that. Ah, yes. One of the things I love about East Africa, by the way, is the weather. And most people actually are mistaken that it's always hot. Not really, it's chill. Because sometimes it's windy, cool. It's... Um, it's amazing. I love the weather. And, uh, one of my favorite places actually to travel to is Zanzibar. It's my, my travel destination. <laughs> This is the main pool area where everyone gets sun. I wouldn't say this is a jacuzzi because you don't want heat in Kenya, but this is kind of like just a smaller pool with a little fountain and you can just sit and chill and have a mocktail in my case and relax. Okay, here we go. So this is another area, we call it new houses, which has four rooms each and a kitchenette. What I love about Kenya is you've got bougainvilles growing wild everywhere, and I love bougainvilles. Come on in. Each room has its own little twist. None of the rooms are identically the same. Basically, it's just nice. Everyone has their own area. They can do what they want. Okay, let's talk about her room. You can see the setup of her room. She used a cemetery, I think, in this room, and it's also amazing. I'm loving it. Even the choice of her colors, she chose the warm tones, which are inviting, and the fact that she's really, I think she doesn't stay in Kenya, so she really designed this place that when she's not around, I think she could book it out to clients who want to come. So it's very, very inviting, like when you're setting up your place to give it that warmth to make it more inviting. And despite that, of course, there is so much white used, but the warm undertones are coming, like they're shining, which is great. It can be very independent here. You can be together and then you can have your long time and nobody bothers anyone. That's what I like about it. I love these. I just love these. These are my favorites. My favorites. The first time I heard about Kenya was from my mother's elder sister, my auntie June. And then the second time I heard about Kenya, was from Lauren Hutton, who always said to me, when she would go to Kenya to revitalize after working, I mean, Lauren Hutton, it's Lauren Hutton, legendary. She always said, I would come back with a real smile. And I remember the first time I was coming to Kenya and I said to Lauren, I'm going to Kenya. She said to me, "What? look at your smile when you get back from Kenya, you're gonna have a real smile. And I so understood what she meant. She's 100% right. 
that's the difference between people who go to Africa and they have all their gadgets of cameras to take pictures of people, reducing them to this one story a poverty. It's it's so annoying by the way, but they forget how people are welcoming, how people are friendly. In in any other place they'll have been to, I think Africa is the most friendly place that you could ever be. When she's talking about the genuine smile, they smile genuinely and they mean it. It's not like <laughs> the smiles we give here. It's just like you go back to the switch mode you're in before you met a person. Thank you for that. Thank you. 100% right. Taking you to the spa. We like Henry Cheneau's spas and technique. So Flavio is friends with Henry Cheneau. So he thought it would be great to have Henry Cheneau put in a little spa in, in the house. So her entry, you can see East Africa, it's known for its wrong hand cows. The entry, the design in the, you see the door handles, they're made from the cow horns, which is amazing. Throughout her space, you've seen the use of art, like to really tell a story, which is the African story she's telling in this place. And uh, I think I love it. So this is the spa. This is the room where we do one of the Chanel techniques. This is hydrotherapy. You're getting like the bath for like 30 minutes. And then after they wrap you in mud, they cover you with mud and they sink you in this one. And you sink down, 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 down. But your skin, good detox. It's about detoxing, cleaning out all the toxins. And that's what you want to do when you go away and chill. I recommend all my friends when they come here and all my guests to do this on the first day so that they have the best sleep ever the first night. So I've never showed you my room. That's the only place I haven't showed you is my room. Come. This is my room. Come in. This is my little living area. This is my bed area. And I love this picture. Of, I love this little boy. I think he's gorgeous. I love okay, this is a conversation starter. A statement piece and I don't know what story she wanted to convey because I love the boy the story he's trying to tell but I don't like the fries uh, they remind me of you and kids donation campaigns uh, but the boy is beautiful and um, yeah it captures my attention I love his eyes I love everything about him so like you can reach out and touch him this is a great picture the lion, I mean, the lion is it. The lion and the panthers. I love panthers too. That's a piece from Armando. I mean, even my door, everything is done here. Everything is done here. The headboards, everything is done in Kenya. They're so good at woodwork. So besides the pool, we also have the beach across the street. It's just a chilled area on the Indian Ocean. It's just really, it's beautiful. It's a little paradise. You love that Maldivian water? We have it here. That transparent blue, right here. So we are back to where we started. So fun fact, lions came from East Africa and then they, they moved to other parts of the world, which is why I caught a lion, by the way, in my space to identify my identity as an East African, incorporating that African statement into my home. So if you've watched until this far, thank you so much. And uh, if you haven't liked the video, please do. I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.